I had a really bad eczema flare up days before my first ever solo trip. So my plan for day two in Capri was to do some swimming on its famed beaches to help heal it. What I didn't factor in though, was that it was April and 11 degrees. Pretty much everything was closed since it was out of season. Probably should have done some research before I took a plane, train and a boat to get there. So I had left myself with only one option. Exploration. And I thought I'd start with the beach. A friendly local showed me the way. And when I got there, I traded the feeling in my toes for a splash of healing water on the back of my legs. I was determined to find true beauty on this little island. Neither lemon trees nor blossoms could do it for me. Not even the flower shop just off the main square. Alas, my road was obstructed by villas and my exploration brought to a halt. Thankfully, the millionaires that normally occupy the island in the summer had taken off on their yachts in search of warmer climates. So I was free to squat on the walls of their mansions unperturbed and attempt to capture my surroundings, utilising the art supplies I stole from my school over a decade ago. <laughs> a life of crime is not new to me. As the sun set, I nearly lost hope. And then I found it. The Jewel of Capri. And it was worth every second spent.